Hey there, we three are Two Door Cinema Club, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I am so excited to be here with Two Door Cinema Club today. Hello. Hi guys. Hi. Hey. How have you been? It's been quite some time since I've seen you. It has been. It's, it's been, been quite a couple some years. Time. Yeah. We're doing good. We're cold. But, but well. <laughs> well on the inside. Yeah. Cold on the outside. Let's just dive right into Game Show, your first album release in four years. How are you feeling about finally having some new music out there? Um, it's kind of amazing, you know. Uh, for a while, we just wanted to get away from everything, and it was nice not to have music and not to be playing shows. And um, then it was time to make the music, and then there's all the other stuff that has to go into making a record, like you know, preparing it and getting the artwork done and selecting singles and making music videos. So we were sitting with this record for like six months before we were able to actually put it out there. And um, it got a little frustrating towards the end. So now it's finally out and it's breathing and it feels really good, you know, and we can, you know, we're bringing it onto the stage and it's just exciting. It's breathing new life into, into what we do. It's awesome. Part of this record was getting into the mind of a social media addict and kind of tapping into that whole generation information aspect. So where did that initial theme come from? Um, really, I think it's uh, just in the, in the way that so much has changed in the past few years, especially since we uh, stopped um, touring for a little bit. Uh, you know, we first noticed it kind of in the uh, in the music industry, you know, because we, we just weren't really a part of that for a couple of years and we came back and it was completely different. And um, because of the internet and then from there, I just started to think about how much had really changed outside of that, you know, and the rest of the world, how people interact, how people get information, how people think. And it's, um, it's kind of scary at times, uh, to me at least. Um, I don't I don't know where we're going. I like to think I'm positive about it, but I, I don't know. I think we could all destroy ourselves in a big ball of flames. But um, it's a, it, it, it fascinates me, really, the Internet, the power of the Internet, the, the ubiquitous nature. You know, it's just, it's everywhere. It's inescapable. Do you find sometimes you get a little bit addicted and you have to step back? Because I know, Alex, you don't even have a personal Twitter account. No, no. Um, no, I, you know, I, I have a, I have a, a smartphone and I have a computer like most other people, but, um, and I, I do, I use email, I re read the news on the internet, but I don't ever find myself feeling addicted. Um, I think the, the kind of the, the social media seems to be where the addiction really lies for so many people that, um, that kind of gratification, you know, like getting, getting attention, getting likes or, uh, looking at other, what other people are doing and uh, that's I think what what generates addictions in people um, I think the scary thing is is that so many people are addicted that don't even acknowledge it or realize I think most people are addicted to it um, you know if you're checking uh, Twitter whatever <laughs> even two times a day that's ridiculous you know <laughs> but most people are doing it 20 times a day yeah. If and not it's, more. It, yeah, it's insane, you know? Go outside, read a book or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think for us, we just have to more remind ourselves that it's something that we need to do as a band. Yes, because like, you have stuff to promote and it's yeah. kind of unnecessary evil. Yeah, I think like, you know, most people are our age, our friends and stuff have kind of grown out of doing Twitter and not many of our friends are on more than one platform, really. So I think we would have to remind ourselves of something that we have to keep sharing and doing <laughs> trying really hard to not be like dads <laughs> you know, be like oh yeah we we know what we know what snapshot is kevin i remember you saying for this new record that you wanted to forge a new connection on it because for the previous one you were like oh it was a great album we don't want to do the same thing over again so when did you realize you had this new connection for the album um i think it, it it's more of a mindset we've always kind of had about every time we approach a new record. I don't think, you know, we've never really had discussions about how we're going to, how are we going to do what we've done before? It's more kind of the opposite of that. Um, so I think we just kind of, in a very natural way, want to, to create something that's different and hopefully naturally we'll create that different kind of connection rather than a really kind of overly thought out plan or anything 
I think it's a lot better when it's natural. Just let it go with the flow. Yeah. Well, for the record, I created a little game for you guys. Oh. Being that it's called Game Show, of course, had to make a game. So the game is called Sucker or Can't Live That Way. So I'm going to say a word, and if you happen to like the word and everything that goes along with it, you say sucker, as if you're a sucker for it. Uh -huh. And then if you don't like the word, then you say can't live that way. Okay. All right. All right? Okay. So I'll just say the word, and at the same time, all three of you can say either one. Sucker or can't live that way. Okay. All right. First one, dancing. Sucker. Sucker. Can't live that way, man. Cookies. Sucker. Uh, yeah. Mm. Little bit of both. I said sucker. Sorry, you yeah. didn't hear me. <laughs> Thunderstorms. Oh, those are great. Yeah, sucker, yeah, sucker, sucker. man. Yeah. Theme parks. Kind of live that way. No. Yeah. How about comic books? I kind of live that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I like. I like that was in unison. Sucker. Then. Yeah. <laughs> sucker. Uh, how about cooking? Yeah, sucker. Sucker, man. Sucker. Yeah. Magic. Kind of live that way. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> and for the last one, tofu. Oh, kind of kind that way. Way. I appreciate Can't you taking that part way. in that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love doing that game or different <laughs> games because yeah. I've just whenever people find out, like, wait, you don't like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've all discovered something about each other here. <laughs> well, you're now taking Game Show out on the road. As we mentioned, you were back in Toronto tonight. So stoked about that. How are you enjoying the show so far? They've been amazing. They really have been um, so special because on this 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 tour especially so far we've been playing in places that we haven't been to in so long you know and you know last night we played in montreal and i think it's been four years since we were last there and um to be playing to a full room of people who were you know and you you see the excitement in their faces and um you know knowing that you're showing these people a good time um after so long you know being away and doing whatever we're doing um, it's it's a it's a really indescribable feeling to be able to keep coming back in and, and um, I still have a connection there and um, obviously with the new music it's uh, injecting some more excitement for us you know and um, it's becoming interesting putting together set lists and things like that now that we've got three records to draw from and um, everything feels new and exciting again it's a lot of fun. Is it difficult putting those set lists together, seeing that you have so much material now? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. it's exceptionally <laughs> difficult. Um, yeah, but we, I mean, we kind of talked about it the other day, and I, uh, I was sort of thinking, you know, if, if you're a Tudor Cinema Club fan, I think you walk away quite happy. Maybe not in, in terms of what the set list is. We play a lot from every album that we've released. So if you like all our songs, you'll be happy. But if you only like certain specific ones, I don't think you'd be very happy. <laughs> But um, I, I guess that's the case with everyone. Yeah. yeah. The answer we've discovered is just playing longer. Yeah. Can play more. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of our songs are very short as well. Okay, yeah. Especially from the first album, so we can... Squeeze more in. We squeeze a lot of songs yeah. in, in like an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, we're pushing two A4 pages now, really, aren't we? We're going to need to... Yeah. <laughs> if we add any more songs, the set list is going to need to become... A booklet? <laughs> yeah, a booklet. <laughs> yeah. Smaller font does not no, work because no. we're getting older as well, so. <laughs> you can't just glance down as you're playing. You'd have to be like, wait, what is, what's next? <laughs> <laughs> no, we need, yeah. a, we need a, 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 a prompter. Like yeah, a, a teleprompter. A teleprompter, yeah. Alex, you mentioned how it was about four years since you last played Montreal and mm -hmm. you were coming through here. For me, it's just crazy to see even the difference in the stage setup. Because the thing you have now yeah. is wicked, the way it correlates to the record. What's it been like yeah. touring with that? I'm sure it's amazing having that whole new experience. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, like I keep saying that it, it does feel new and it feels fresh. You know, everything has changed from the music to um, to the, the, the band. We've got an extra guy playing with us on stage. You know, we're five people on stage now, as well as uh, Ben Thompson on drums. We've got a new guy called Jacob Berry who's playing keyboards and guitars. And um, he's, he's added so much... Uh, weight and excitement to what we do on stage and then there's the light show which is amazing you know we 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 worked um with our lighting designers to create specific uh, video content for almost every song in our set and we sync that up with the music and it i don't know it, it it just adds this whole other dimension that um when you're when you're when you're watching it it kind of transports you in a way and uh it can really kind of take you places that you never thought you'd go and it's um you can you can see that in people's faces you know you can see different reactions every night to 
to what's going on up there and around. It's so cool. Just to wrap things up, I want to bring it back to the fans. Anything you want to leave with all of them who will be viewing the interview? Thank you very much for uh, all the support and understand. We understand that it took some patience at certain times when, um, yeah, and we really appreciate everyone still caring and and liking us, and we uh, really care and like you back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been really fun coming back and after so long and seeing so many familiar faces all around yeah. the tour so far. Um, yeah, a lot of people are a lot older now, which is weird. Yeah, yeah so it's been interesting. I, I just <laughs> want to say thank you for joining us once again, guys. Our pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so yeah, much for having us back. It is my pleasure. Talking to my coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> and remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time.